Okay, bud, we uh, need to get some plugins installed. Um, we're still in the admin section and getting the you know, first parts of our website installed. So uh, let's get uh, some plugins installed. Sounds good. Okay, so you're at the dashboard. Go ahead and go to, in the left hand side, go down to plugins and installed plugins. Okay, you'll see there's a few plugins uh, showing up, and these are ones that um, basically came either from SiteGround, like the SG Cash Press is one from SiteGround, um, also Akismet. Um, Akismet is, as you can see, there is a plugin that is used by millions of people, and it's just a fantastic uh, plugin to help control the spam that might come into your website. Now, if you haven't um, used a, a Kismet before, the first time you have to go out and get sign up and get an AP, what's called an API key, and it's real simple. It's free. Uh, we've already used it in the past, so we already have an API key. So what we need to do first, is let's inst let's go ahead and activate a, a Kismet. Okay, and you can see that it's brought us to a big green bar with activate your a Kismet account, so click on that. Okay, we're at a Kismet site now, so we have to input the API key, which we have already gotten, so click in that box and right click and paste. Okay, um, it says our account has been successfully set up and activated. There's a couple other uh, checks uh, we can look at here. There's one uh, by comments. It says we can show the number of approved comments beside each comment author that's unchecked I really don't think we need to go ahead and check that okay and you can see the other part there's uh, what's called strictness and it's default check to always put spam in the spam folder for review so uh, let's just go ahead and leave it with that uh, setting already checked we could just click the other one that says silent, silently discard the worst and most pervasive spam so I never see it but at this point um, we'd like to review it so okay we've got a Kismet set up as you can see and it's been activated so we're good to go there is a couple of places here where we could check some boxes off if we want to one of them is at the comments box and if we wanted to show the number of approved comments beside each comment author we could check that I don't really see any benefit to that and also you can see under strictness it's defaulted to always put spam in the spam folder for review that's probably the best thing for now because it will put the spam in a spam folder as it says and we can review it from time to time make sure there's not anything in that folder that isn't spam that yeah. we might want to keep so at this point let's just go ahead and say save changes All right. okay so let's go ahead and go back to plugins and we'll begin the installation process of other plugins okay so we're at the plugin installation window and now we begin to customize our site with the plugins that we want to use for our website. So let's go ahead and look at WordPress.org and just look at the plugin page. Well, you can see there's 31,286 plugins currently available at WordPress.org. So, how do we know which ones are the best ones and which ones do we want to use? Well, as you can see over on the right hand side, uh, there's a listing of what's called the most popular plugins and these are the ones that have, are downloaded the most and therefore the most popular and you can see one that's uh, just been updated and we're probably going to want to use Jetpack uh, has been downloaded over 10 million times and we'll talk about Jetpack and then you can see on down the list the other plugins are available and you can click on each one of those and go in and review the plugin and see if it works well for your particular theme you can also see the featured plugins in the middle of the page uh, that WordPress is featuring and recommends as well. So um, it's just a process. You have to really look at what you're planning to do with your website and how you're going to use plugins. And plugins are a fantastic uh, tool. And what really makes WordPress such a great platform to, to use is that you have all these contributors of um, people building plugins. Uh, where they see a need they build a plug-in for it and many of them are free there's some that are paid um, but you can go out and pretty much find a plug-in to take care of any situation that you might need on your website so a uh, specific application comes up there's probably somebody that's written a plug-in for it now you do have to be careful when you go out on 
uh, WordPress.org and search for an application that you might have, a specific one for a plugin. And you really need to look at how many times it's been downloaded and if there are any comments about the plugin or if it hasn't been updated in quite a while, then I'd really be careful before I install that plugin. Um, could be a compatibility issue with another plugin on your site, or it could have a you know compatibility issue with a new version of WordPress. But we've already uh, gone through and selected some plugins that we're going to install on our website, so let's do that now. Okay, um, typically uh, when you're installing plugins, it's just one by one by one. You go install one. Um, they're zip files, they unzip automatically, they're installed for you. It's a pretty simple process, but you got to do one and then another and then right. another. I recently came across a new plugin that is just really dynamic, and I wanted us to uh, give it a try. And basically, it's called WP Install Profiles. Now what this does is you can actually go in and set a profile list of plugins that you use regularly. So if you're going to have more than one website and you use, let's just say, a Kismet on every website and you want to make sure it was installed, you could set it up in a profile along with your other plugins. All you have to do on a new WordPress installation is go ahead and download this one plugin, WP Install Profile, and then upload your profile from a previous WordPress website and all your plugins are automatically installed and activated for you. That's cool. So it's just a one-step process. So let's go ahead and download the current version of WP Install Profile. So click on the download version 3.4.1 which is the current version here and then we'll get it installed on our website. Okay let's go ahead and add WP Install Profile so hit Add New. All right, you're going to upload this plugin since we've already downloaded it. So mm -hmm. click on Upload. Okay, we need to tell it where the file is. So choose File. In this case, it's in our Download folder. And select it. And now you do is Install Now. Okay, you can see the plugin has now been installed. We have to activate it to run it. So go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now go ahead and scroll down and we'll just take a look at the plugin. And You'll see there that uh, we have installation profiles, which is a plugin we just installed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upload the profile that we have previously built, and then we'll install all the plugins from there. Now again, this is the same process we use to install this one plugin. We could do to install each one of these plugins. So if we're going to install, if we were just going to install one or two plugins, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Get the latest version off of WordPress.org, um, install it, and uh, activate it. Or you can even uh, go back up to the top of your screen, and you can go to Add New up here, and then you can go to uh, a search feature, and it'll actually search WordPress.org for a plugin you might be looking for. So if you were looking for a plugin to, say, do... Uh, YouTube videos. You could just click on Add New and then do a search for uh, YouTube videos under WordPress.org and it'll go show you all the plugins that have to do with YouTube videos. Then you can install the one you okay. wanted. But yeah, in this case, uh, we're, we're going to again, we're going to use uh, this install profile theme and let's do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, upload the profile we previously built. So go ahead and go to Installation Profile Plugin and click on Settings. All right, um, now you can see that this is the default profile that came with the plugin. And if you wanted to, you could use that, install all those plugins. However, we're going to import the one that we've already set up. So click on Import Profile, choose File. Now in this case, our profile is on our desktop. So we're going to click on the desktop and you can see the one that says Rust-Profile. Click on that and open. Okay, hit upload. And now choose the profile. Okay, and you can see these are plugins that uh, I previously have uh, used on other WordPress sites and 
uh, like these profiles so these are ones we're going to upload to this current uh, installation so the next thing we're going to do is all we have to do is hit download plugins and save profile and all of those plugins are now being downloaded from the WordPress directory and installed okay you can see that we have downloaded all the plugins from our profile and we're ready now to activate them and the nice thing again about this uh, plugin is that it just took us less than a minute to download all of these plugins and have them ready to go now if we'd had to do this one by one we probably would have spent at least 15 or 20 minutes maybe even longer going out and finding each plugin uh, downloading the plugin installing the plugin and then activating it and we're going to have the whole thing done here in less than a couple of minutes so pretty nice plug-in yeah i agree